So here we go, week three of fantasy basketball. Trade and sell at the guard position. The first guy's Kyrie Irving of the Brooklyn Nets. And Irving so far this year, you can't complain about him. He's been playing every game except one he missed. He's been scoring the basketball. His numbers are right where they've been the last few seasons. Irving on the year averaging 26 points a game, 5.2 rebounds, 6.3 assists. With a th steal and a half a game and three and a half threes a game at 48%. But Irvin, you know, this guy hasn't played a full season in three or four seasons. And right now, his value's at an all-time high, I believe. And I would sell him off. Already Kevin Durant, he's going to be out four games. So Irvin this week, he's going to explode more and have bigger games, I believe, with Durant out of the lineup. And then after that, it's the time to sell him because the injuries could come. Or this guy could feel not like he's he don't want to play. If the Nets keep struggling, because the Nets right now, they're 3-4, and four, and where the Knicks signed no one in the offseason, I know it's only seven games, they're 4-3, and three, but Kyrie Irving, you know how he is, and he's a weird guy that he just takes games off at times, so this week with the ran out, he's going to have a huge week, and then after that, I definitely would sell him. The next guard to sell is Terry Rozier, the Charlotte Hornets, he was on the list as well last week like Kyrie Irving of guards to trade and sell off. And Rozier, he's had two monster games this season with a 42-point game and a 35-point game the other night. And he gets hot where he could go on a tear, hitting seven or eight threes in those games. But Rozier, he's up and down. He's inconsistent. And I think those huge games aren't going to happen often this season, especially Devontae Graham. He's been struggling mightily. But I think he's going to bounce back. And LaMelo Ball, as the season goes on, he's going to play more minutes and be a vocal point in that offense for Charlotte. So right now, Rozier, his value skyrocketed at its all-time high, I believe. And this is the time to trade him because he's going to be inconsistent. And his minutes are going to go down, I believe, as the weeks go on. The next play is Malik Beasley of the Minnesota Timberwolves. He's been playing lights out as well. In the last week, week and a half since Carl Anthony Towns went out. And D'Angelo Russell and Ricky Rubio struggling. So Beasley, he's having a great season. No doubt about it so far this year is Beasley. But I don't think he's going to sustain these numbers. He got the big contract, I know. But like I said, when Towns comes back, the ball's going to be out of Beasley's hands more. And he's averaging right now 19 points, 4.8 boards. An assist in a half a game in two threes, 48% from the field. So he's playing over his head. I know he's young. He still could develop. But when D-Russ breaks out of the slump and he starts scoring as well, Beasley, the opportunities and the usage is going to go down with the ball in his hand. So I think Beasley, you sell him high here and you can get a decent player or package him with someone else and get a superstar for him. The next guard's Mike Conley Jr., of the Utah Jazz so far this year. Conley, he's turned the clock back here and he's had some huge ball games, including a 33 point ball game last week with seven threes made. He's playing well. He's a main guy there in Utah, but I don't think he's going to sustain these stats the whole season. Is Conley. He's up there in age. You know, he's got a bad track record of injuries. Hopefully, he stays healthy. I really hope so, but right now, his value also is in an all time high. And I would try to get rid of Conley for a player who's struggling or a player you're waiting for to break out here. Because Utah, Donovan Mitchell, he's in a little bit of a slump. And I think once Mitchell gets going, Conley, his shot attempts are going to go down a little bit per game. But right now he's playing well, but I would sell him off. And the fifth and final guard, I would trade and sell this week's Marcus Smart of the Boston Celtics. He's playing major minutes as Smart. 35, 40 minutes a game with Kemba Walker out. And he's starting, like I said, but smart. He's hitting 2.33s a game. His field goal percentage is still lousy at 38%. So I think smart, his numbers are going to drop as the weeks go on. He's dealing with a little bit of an injury as well. And Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown are the two main dogs over there in that Boston offense. And I just think smart, when Walker comes back, he'll be the sixth man obviously there. But his playing time is going to drop a little and his stats, obviously, as well. So I would sell him off now while his value is high also. So that's a few guards I would trade and sell here in week three of the fantasy basketball season.